first quarter final is between Buffers Alley and St Martins in Wexford Park. Uh, you'd have to say that the Martins would be favourites, but you wouldn't want to rule out the battling qualities of Buffers Alley. Uh, St Martins have been involved in football and under 21 in the last few weeks. Uh, I'm expecting a closer game than a lot of people think. Yeah, well, of course, Pat, uh, I had, uh, going back all them years ago, Buffer Sally's still the only club in uh, Wexford to win an All-Ireland club title and they'll always be able to hold that one up, although Ireland will have to pass them in the meantime. Uh, but they're there on merit, even if the fact that they lost the uh, last game by nine points to Derry Bells, but as you say, they were very understrengthened on that occasion. What can we say to Martins? Like, I mean, they're out every, nearly every even now between under-21 and football and the hurling and that like... We have to go all the way back to 2000 for the last double with St Anne's and it's not going to be achieved this year. Uh, I think St Martin's possibly maybe a little bit overconfident at some stages, but uh, well within the grasp, I suppose, the double at this stage. Oh, definitely, really, but uh, people forget about the Anne's winning the, the, the double and it was a great achievement, but it was a knockout championship. I think you have to win eight games to win the senior hurling and eight games to win the senior football. I think that makes it very, very difficult. But getting back to the to the match, the Ali War missing Kieran Kenny and Barry Kenny, John Farrell, Oliver O'Leary, John Lee Myler, and a few more, Pat Kenny as well, in the last match. And I think that'll strengthen them uh, an awful lot for the next match. Yeah. Both of these, of course, are going in on the back of a defeat. Do you think psychologically that that has any effect whatsoever in relation to the match on Sunday? Uh, Getting beaten is never is never good for a team, but uh, I think it's a whole new ball game now. Starting the quarter final, I don't think the league part will come into it at all, really. Yeah, but well, of course the Martins were on fire uh, when they beat Howler. Everyone was sort of saying they were county champions already, but since then they haven't performed up to the same height or that. Mm. And uh, last couple of matches, sure, I mean the shock of the year with the Lapreys beating them in the last round and only got by Gory by a point. Perhaps too many matches, uh, probably all the more reason why we should be playing in the summer. Ed. Maybe so, but a lot of people forget this. St Martins will have about 11 under 21s on the team, and a lot of them have a lot of miles on the clock this year. With, with hurling in football and under 21 and inter county under 21, and, and like they, they have a lot, they've a lot, of, they've done a lot of going this year, but uh, I still give them a shout in the for the big one, but yeah. You know. Well, there's so many O'Connors on these uh, this team uh, at the Diamond Line again with being stuff with being stuff at times. But I mean, I saw one of them scoring that goal against Gorey in the under 21 final. One of the best goals I ever saw in Hurling. He nearly tore the net off. Which of them was that? Uh, uh, it's Rory, he's Rory. Son, son of John's. Uh, was a fantastic player and, and a fantastic goal it was. Yeah. One of the best goals ever in Belfield, I'd say, really, wasn't it? Uh, well, to my knowledge, anyhow, as yeah, long as I've been watching games. But yeah. we're both in agreement to say Martins are going to get over the line here, are we? I think so, but I think the alley will run in close and I think it's going to be a lot closer than what people think. 